Well, last week, Kim said that the KC contract was gonna break out of its pattern. So Kim, did it? Uh, yes, it did. Uh, it had two patterns going. One was an uptrend that was started last August. It popped out of that uptrend. It's on a sideways uh, movement now. And then it had a short run sideways trend that was going in a flag. And that means each high is a little bit lower than the previous high and each low is a little higher than the previous low. So it narrows down there. It popped out of the bottom side of both of those. So it broke down. It broke the uptrend, that long run uptrend, and it came out of the flag on the downside and that's bearish. So, you know, with that in mind, what do you expect wheat prices to do? Well, after it did that, it, it uh, went down, it, it got, went through one other support price, that uh, 546 on that July contract. It popped through that 546, was down it for one day, came back and tested it. We're gonna have to see if it stays below that 546, then we could lose another 40 cents. I don't think so, but it's possible. I believe we're, we're probably going to stay cl in near the range that we've been trading in over the last two or three weeks. So last week when we talked, we were talking about 2021 prices in regards to wheat that's in the bin. So what, uh, what do you expect the market's going to be offering for harvested wheat? Well, during December, it's a tough month to try to predict prices or anticipate what's going to happen because it's a holiday season. So December's are normally you don't get big moves. You just kind of wallers around. You'll have some producers coming in that are selling to get holiday money. Uh, you'll have some importers coming in and buying the usual business stuff. But December's a tough month. I don't expect much in December unless there's a big surprise in the market and I just don't see where that come from. You know, before we let you go, let's talk a little bit about corn and beans. What's going on there? Well, if you look at uh, corn and beans, uh, corn, uh, this last week broke the uptrend on that. So corn's got a sideways pattern. We'll have to wait and see where it goes again. I don't expect it to move very much. We are in December. In December, you can break through those support and resistance points and then they'll just last a day or two and then they'll come back into that normal pattern. Soybeans still has that uptrend going and I think that's positive. A lot of it's gonna depend on what happens with China. China hadn't been in the market much recently. They come back in the market, we could get some rallies. If they stay out of the market, we could wall our sideways to a little lower. Really, the thing to look for is January 1. Once we get through this holiday season, get back to normal times, see what happens after the first of the year. So what about cotton? Is cotton still on that slow study uptrend or is it starting to level off or even dive down a bit? I think cotton's leveled off. Over the last several weeks, it's just been uh, sideways on that futures price. Uh, no, uh, there has been no surprises coming on the market. I think we can just continue to see that sideways movement. All righty, thanks, Kim. Kim Anderson, grain marketing specialist here at Oklahoma State University.